What is going on subscribers and welcome back to another Gold Rush episode. Happy 2019. Um, I know I forgot to say that in um, the snow plowing video. I kind of recorded that ahead of time. Wasn't really thinking when it was going to be uploaded. But this is the first official recording in 2019. This is going to be a better year for me. A better year for the modding team. So we're going to be putting all the junk aside that happened in 2018. I know a lot of shit happened towards the end. Um, I touched a little bit of bases on the live stream, but I'm going to finish the story. And that is the last time we're going to talk about it. So, you guys know a lot. I had Super Duty modding in the team. Um, that guy was very uh, exclusive on not telling me when problems came up in the group. So, it all started. Let's see, he did the trail boss. He attempted the F-150 2018. Um, I think he was doing one minor thing wrong, which I could probably guess. He wasn't including all the textures in the folder. Because it worked in his game, so that's a clear sign that you're assigning a texture that's staying on your computer that's not coming with the file. So that's number one. Um, that's number one's problem. So that gets off into a big fight, so then I have John do it instead. So then he decides, well, I guess I'm going to try to make a combat, and says, well, this summer, which was last summer now, he was going to do a bunch of models, and I'm like, well, I'll keep you busy. So, got all these models off a free modding website. Um, I hope that he uh, excludes that. doesn't matter if he really says anything about it. It's it's out there. It's free to the public. It's whatever. Um, so, I gave him a whole bunch of stuff and, you know, wanted updates. He started on, like, two projects, and then it totally went blank. So then I had to bring in Sasha to figure it out because it was looked like I was talking to a goddamn wall. You send him a message, he sees it, and never actually responds. We're going to need a jerry can. Uh, yep, here's one. So then he comes up with some lies of, oh, I'm working on a truck and stuff. I'm like, okay, well, you're not going to be driving for like two years. Why do you need to start working now? when you have promised me all these models like it was about 20 or so models so I said okay whatever not gonna bug you just back off let you do your work so I waited about good old eight months and nothing still has happened I put one simple message in our group chat you know hey what's everybody working on poof he's gone not with even a single word so we get into a big ass fight and stuff. I don't have the chat anymore. I kind of want to forget about it. So, and then he starts saying some more shit. So then we make up. You know, we said sorry and stuff. About December 15th, I talked to him that Saturday for about, ooh, it was about four hours. And then, so we go on and I say, hey, you know, maybe you don't understand my uh, schedule. We're on totally two different schedules. I'm not able to talk to you during the weekdays. Still doesn't get it. So I just went off with all my own business and coming about Wednesday, that would have been right before Christmas, a couple days before Christmas, that weekend, a video comes out from Artist the Jack and says that he has partnered up with Super Dude and all I think is, okay, he has backsapped me once again. Once again. So, which he did. And now he is talking in multiple groups about shit about me, how I'm the most hateful person in this community. If I'm the most hated person in this community, why the fuck am I still gaining subs to this very day? Let's ask yourself that. I don't think anybody's going to believe one person on something like that. So... As of now, he is no longer in the group. Uh, I'm basically done with his ass. Come on, truck. Thank you. So, the problems that I have with him is being dishonest, not being upfront. If there was a serious problem with him in the group, I would have never known because he doesn't tell anybody anything. 
doesn't give anybody heads up saying, hey, this is the problem, blank, 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 you know, or... So, when you don't tell anybody something, they assume everything's fine and they're just going to keep going with their day. But if you have a legit problem, speak out. It doesn't matter if you're in a normal job. You know, you got to speak out. You got to be professional about it. You can't use any cuss words. You can't, you know, target the person. You just have to make sure you give out your situation. So for all you guys wondering about Super Duty, um, yeah, I've agreed to keep his mods private that he had in 17. I know he made a lot of promises to his subscribers. That's on him. You know, the F450 dump truck, the... What was it the F-350 2016 F-250 on the really high lift? Probably like a 10-inch lift, I think it was on. And then the F-450 extended cab dually. Obviously, that stuff's going to stay private until he wants to release it. It's his stuff, not mine. I just hope that he respects the mods that I gave him because I worked my ass off to get those mods. I made trades with everybody, and I got some pretty high shit for him. These were some good trucks, and they were only the start. So I don't know if he was looking for, like, the holy grail of mods from the start, but you got to understand, you don't start high class immediately. You have to work your way up. Like, if you start a mowing business, you're more than likely going to start with a push mower and a cheap-ass, uh, you know, trimmers. You know, you're not going to have the best equipment in the world. You're not going to have the right stand-on mowers. You're not going to have a John Deere mower. You're just going to have some $20 push mower. You may have just a little truck like a Ford Ranger or an F-150. Just You're not going to have a trailer. So, there's a lot of things that people need to learn. That you're not always going to start with the best equipment on what anything you're doing. So that is my little rant for this little video. I figure I would keep you guys updated. So it's cool if he wants to continue to um, backstab me and be disrespectful in other groups. I don't really care because all it's going to do is he doesn't have thick skin. So all he's going to do is go cry in a little corner. So which I hope he grows up from it because that's just really pitiful. But on to the main subject of the video. Today we are on, we're eight days away from winter. This is season three that I'm on. So we're going to be ending season three. This is probably going to be our last clean out. And let's see, I've been, this save game has been from the start of the, like, you know, when the game came out. So this will be our first time dealing with winter. So I want a little extra time to get all the cords and all the hoses up. I'm just going to finish off these mats. I guess I didn't get anything. If you guys have been following the videos up to this video with Gold Rush, in this area, I drilled a sample and it was 7 ounces of gold. That's, that's pretty good. So we'll see what our season total is going to be after this cleanup. I just did a cleanup a couple days ago, and it was 400 ounces of gold. So that was pretty good. So my plans for next year in this game is going to be, if you guys haven't known, we have the water system and the electric system. I'm going to incorporate that into our setup. And then replaced a few um, parts on the wash plant, which is going to be the trommel. I'm going to go buy another spot allowing me to have a gravel pump on the site. And then we'll have two gravel pumps with the two hog pans going. So a few little upgrades, so we need this season to be awesome. We should have roughly about 1,500 ounces of gold by the end, but we'll see what happens. As all the season I've spent is maybe a hundred ounces of gold. So I haven't really spent much money. 
Or at least converted gold into money. That's all I've converted. And also, you notice with the new hard drive, we have a better frame rates. So, I end up installing that myself. Um, sent a couple messages to my friend and got no response out of it. So, I said, okay, I'll just go on YouTube. I'll figure it out myself. It's not like it's the modding community where there's not really modding tutorials. This is all those videos I was looking at how to put Windows 10 was like four years old. So... So my goal is in 2019, let's talk about that. So we got the new hard drive installed, which is amazing. So now we got about, it's a terabyte hard drive, but I already put about, I think we have like 700 gigs left. So we're going to have hopefully some GTA videos start coming out. We're going to be doing police um, work. We'll be doing DLT work. I'm going to hopefully donate to the parks and benefactors. They've been building a couple nice mods, a truck with the uh, board on the back so you can put like messages and stuff. If you guys want to watch some awesome GTA videos, go watch um, Acer K2 Pilot, I believe that is his name. He gave me a shout out, so I'm giving him a shout out. He's an awesome dude, that's really good GTA videos. And because of me, he got into farming sims, so that is awesome. I feel honored to help somebody get into farming simulator. And he's going to help me out a lot get into the GTA. Because he's got um, a whole website. If you go on his channel, it has the tutorials, how to install the police mods, and you know where to donate, just like how we have in farming sim, donate for mods. Right, let's go check on the wash plan because we're only at like 80 some percent with these maths. What is that on? Ooh, that's only on 14 uh, percent. All right, we're almost there. 90 percent. Not bad. And then in the recent update, they have leveled all these out. So where they go at the same rate. So if you know, like, if you had the two, the the old style jig, and the two buckets down there, it would be like 40% below what the actual mats were. So now it's all even. Should be like within a percent. This game is getting a lot better. Um, you know, it was a what was it? A it wasn't a, oh, it was a Kickstarter. Which I did support the Kickstarter, which was totally worth it. I think I paid eleven dollars for the game, and now it's I don't know exactly. I think it's like thirty dollars. So that was a good investment. But my last message to Super Duty Modding, um, you were a great modder, you just, um, I just needed to listen a little bit. You definitely have the potential to be a good modder, but, um, basically communication is all you're missing. If you had a legit problem in my group, I would want to know it because I've been running this group for about, this modding group for about four years now, and... You know, when you start running a business, you kind of get away from it. You kind of, um, ooh, we blew a hydraulic hose. Sweet. Um, you know, you kind of get away from the sense of managing the group. Maybe you take a step back or maybe you change your ways. And it would be nice to have a second eye over the group. And I hope he wasn't worried about all the whole co-owner and what your roles are in the group. Because my groups, you just... The groups that I run, I just want you to do what you're told. doesn't matter if you're co-owner, the boss, 
we're all here to make some great mods for the community. That was the intention and goal. Oh, uh, what's the... Uh, that's a... I'll have to go up to the tent and order a hose. Hydraulic hose. Don't want to go down that way. So we'll finish up these mats and then we'll get on to the cleanup. Let's see what we're at since we're going by 95%. Not bad. I think we'll just stop it right there, so I'll fix this later. It's not really important. Alright, it's turned off. Let's turn off everything and let's get up to the to the meat of this video. We'll get the clean out session. And what I have personally learned from this uh, community, pretty much watch what, what you say because it could come back to hurt you pretty bad. So him talking shit about me can definitely come back and hurt him in the long run. Let's go get the pickup truck and we'll start getting everything out. I wouldn't say the internet is a dangerous place, but it is a um, place where um, a lot of people can get hurt. So, your reputation as a human being can be ruined pretty quick. And to all my haters and the uh, Moonshine Mafia, yeah, I still know what you guys are saying, so keeping a good eye on you guys so don't worry I think my biggest hater is a uh, rusty there so Hope you guys are enjoying the two streams that we I did um, right before 2018 um, ended. So, hoping to do some more. Hopefully, um, one every Saturday at least. It's only going to be on weekends, so... As you guys all know, I work at nights, so from 3 p.m. Central Time until 10. So usually after that, um, I have to be respectful to my parents because they, you know, they sleep um, in the room above me. So I don't want to be doing anything that's loud and stuff. So that's why I normally don't talk to anybody after work, or I don't stream, don't make any videos for the respect of them. But hopefully, uh, let's see here, by the end of this year, 2019 goals for my job is to get the license to be able to drive our package cars. Basically, it's the local delivery for UPS in your town. And I'll just throw those down there. So then once that happens, depending on my route, I should be off anywhere. So I'll start at... 
9 o'clock in the morning, hopefully be off by at least no later than 5. But peak season, you know, mostly be off by 9 o'clock. But that's only for four weeks. It's not too bad. And then let's grab a bucket. Then we just got to go do the top part. Nice thing about this cleanup is we're just going to keep all the mats in the building. Um, I actually do need a bucket. Uh, yep, there's one right here. Oh, there are, nope, right there. All right, so now we take the little shovel. We clean these out. I think it takes, yeah, it takes two scoops. That one's clean. All right, that's it. Take that. This usually gives us a lot of gold. At least, I think my highest was almost 300 ounces of gold. So that sluice box does some major work. Especially when we're digging at the bottom of the hole. That looks like I lost my sound again. Uh, let's see here. Settings, game. Nope. There we go. It should have go turn on the water and power for this. Let's go do that quickly. Just the power splitter. So I got a main line running up to the building for water and power. That's what these two are for. Power and water. Simple. That feeds the building. Then it runs into here and breaks off. And then you got your power and your water connections so let's get started so I think this one was from the duplex jig um yeah let's run this through the magnet separator so we need magnetite to uh, upgrade the blacksmith This is our gold. I 
And then this is our top sluice. Usually one of the good ones. Alright, let's do the sluice box at the top first, which is this bucket. Two hundred and nineteen ounces of gold. That's pretty good for that sluice box. And then let's run the gravel pump at the bottom. This is more of the fine gold. So we're going to get set up to run all the mats in here. Hundred and sixty five ounces from the gravel pump. Not too bad. Off to a great start. Put this in our All right, let's do, oh, that's only 28%. Put these guys on the shelf and get them ready for next year. Wonder if we can wash the little hog pan ones. Let's see. Ooh, we can actually do it. And it only takes up one side. Nice. Let's see here. Last hog pan mat. Looks like we'll have to do one more load. We're only going to have two mats left. Hopefully, that's a good sign of going up pretty quick. Alright, 
put these guys on the shelf. Come on, get in there. So more than likely, I'll probably make a time lapse of me getting cleaned up and getting ready for winter. So look out for that video. And then also with the new hard drive, it has definitely improved FS17 snowplowing videos. We still get the occasional hard lag, but we get a lot more FPS, so it's definitely improved. But the hard lag spikes are probably all the errors from the trucks and most likely from the Seasons mod, too. That was never perfect. And this is from all the maps. Oh, well, yeah, it's climbing up pretty quick. If you look off to the right hand side of your screen, see that number going pretty fast. Three hundred and forty five ounces. That is awesome. Well, we'll go to sleep and then we'll get our final report. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, got you guys catched up, caught up with all the news. Um, really, this wasn't a drama video at any state. This was just telling what happened. So, my advice, if you don't want to be talked about on anybody's YouTube channel or any bad way in life, don't make drama. So, and Super Duty, you definitely need to look up the definition of drama. Because you don't know it at all. We got 731 ounces of gold. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Have a great day. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.